Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report. We'll look at the ASX in a little bit of detail and then we'll have a look at um, some of the other Asian indices. So with the ASX 200 here, we're looking at this wave four as being in play and we're looking at a five wave sequence to the upside in terms of one and two and three here and four here. The wave four pulls back 38.2% of wave three here, which is roughly the 6,000 area here. Once that's completed, then we can look up for wave five. So let's go in and investigate this particular move here. And obviously we know that um, uh, that we're at old highs uh, here and we're expecting a move back down. And we also know that um, apart from the 38.2% retracement level, we can obviously see that there's good support um, at the 6,000 here as well. So moving into the four hour chart, just to pick up a little bit of detail here, obviously not much more, but um, just pointing out here that that's the 38.2% retracement level. It's just off the 6,000 uh, area here, but we need to include both of them because they're both, you know, the elephants in the room as such. Um, but we also need to track the wave count down through here, which is a little bit messy and choppy as well. But um, let's go in and um, have a look at this. Um, one hour chart will do the trick. So, so this is what I was thinking. Um, so, um, looking at all of this is the A wave uh, into uh, this space here, probably in, I mean, this looks like five waves up there, so I've got to look at it as the C wave. The only problem is, is that I'm not sure to put it here or here. Um, not that it matters that much because we still end up with wave B here, but we're looking for wave one here, wave two here, then one and two and three and four and five here, which should just come a tad below, maybe not all the way down for wave three, then wave four here, and then wave five. Uh, moving in here of C of four here. Um, I just want to leave this one here for my own sake. Um, so just looking at this is this little structure down here needs to be five waves. So we still need to see this move down here. It may extend all the way down here. I don't know, but we normally find support on top of group. So 6,000 then 10, 20, and 30 is all of group one here, then the midpoint, then group two in here, uh, and then back to the 100 here. So we always find support at number three, um, and um, on its second bounce here, we'll get another bounce um, and then move through. But it'll be choppy in through this space here, so whatever happens in here shouldn't come down, come down about here, so it may extend. Um, but we also need to be looking at another correction back up into this space here um, and then another five waves down uh, into here this wave five here should be roughly the same as this one here but um, uh, anything can occur so but yeah anyway we're still looking at that 6,000 support here and then up from that point now the other point that I need to make here too um, it might be better if I can go back to the I'll just save that and go back to the four hour chart and I just want to sort of shoot the breeze on a uh, on a different scenario here as well. So just looking at this, we'll borrow these guys here. So it's possible that all of this down, it's probably not because it's all, if it's going to pull down to the, it doesn't normally pull down to the 38.2% retracement level in its first swing down. Okay, so um, if it was going to be an A wave, it'd normally be, uh, whoops, the A wave would normally be up here somewhere and then the B wave and C wave. But we also just need to be mindful um, that we may end up with a larger correction uh, here as well um, in terms of, I'm just doing a simple one here. So it's possible that we can get an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here and then a move up. It's also possible that we could end up with a, some sort of triangle pattern as well here so then that would leave us an a wave a b wave a c wave a d wave and an e wave and then up from here this is the problem with wave fours but um as i mentioned the first leg down coming down into the 38.2 percent retracement level um we can normally um <coughs> go to buy off that low 
Um, but if you're going to buy off this low here, uh, 38.2%, then uh, any any moves up, to, well, um, if you're going for the trend up for into wave five here, then you're going to have to hold through basically wave one and wave two coming back, you know, 60 odd percent um, as well before moving up higher as well. So it's it's a good thing to do. It's the right thing to do to buy it on the 38.2% or on the 6,000. But um, it takes cur not courage to do that, but courage to hold it through the the initial building process, the beginning there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end of a trend. And the beginning process of the trend is where you're getting these really deep corrections here. And once it moves off, then you're rewarded for that uh, accommodation of that fear uh, as such. So anyway, just pointing out that this wave four can get more complicated, but for the simple fact that it has moved down to its 38.2%, which is good. Um, and this is also being driven by... Um, uh, resources as well. I mean, there's obviously the overseas markets as well, um, but um, we're expecting BHP and so on to correct, if I can just find that for a moment. So BHP has been going down here for one, two, three, four days. Um, so this is what we're expecting. So one and two in here, and then up for three and four in here, and then up for five. So we're on the right track with everything for 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 this. You know, this is the driver. Um, the banks are do each bank is doing something different. Each bank is trying to uh, to to to, uh, to to hang on to it. Some. Um, I don't know, uh, whatever it is that they've lost, um, integrity. <laughs> um, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, we've got, we're following, the ASX is following this market. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a little look around uh, around the block. This um, market here, the, the uh, China A50 here, uh, in this particular instance here, um, we're looking at an uh, A wave here, B wave here. I mean, it's possible to call this as five waves down too, in terms of one and two and three down here and four back up here because it has an overlapped wave one here and then five waves down here, which would make this much more complicated in here. Um, we'll see how we go with it. And I'll, I need to have a look at some of the other markets too in this, um, in China to, to, to um, sort of bring them all together and actually figure it out. But, um, as I mentioned before, from wave B, we're looking at wave one and two, and then we're looking all the way down here, five waves for three. And in this instance here, um, we've either got wave four here, and then wave five to here. It looks a bit dodgy, but it fits. It's done all the right things. Um, and then we can have this up for one here, and then coming back for two here, and then moving up for three here. Otherwise, we need to look at this as an A and a B and a C here for wave four and then move down. So if I can just go to um, four hour chart here just to have a bit of a look. So um, yeah, it's possible to see this here um, uh, as wave one here and then an A wave, a B wave here and then we need a C wave coming into here, a C wave coming into here and then it can move up from that point. <clears throat> we need five waves in this last little sequence here. Um, so we've got three in the B and we're looking for this here. So, so it's possible to go up, um, but it would have to be these highs here that would trigger that, that, that position because at the moment too, it can be, this can be <clears throat> the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here, then down for one, back for two, down for one here, an A and a B and a C back for two here, hitting supply zones here, and then moving down here for three, four and five, moving, that would be one, two, three, four, five here, then we'd still have this one and two here, so that would all be three here, and four here, and five coming down. So, um, I don't know yet. Um, well, let's see how this, <clears throat> we just, I've been waiting for this to, do its five waves up as wave one or wave C, and then I need this to play out. There will be there will become a point where we will know the obviously, that's, um, but this is the 50 60 percent area that we're looking at for 
for these guys. So that can actually come down into the 12, uh, 400 uh, there. Um, right. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do the Hang Seng next because <coughs> um, obviously they're neighbours, well more than neighbours, and um, um, kind of got the same situation here happening as well. I mean, this move up here can be a wave one here. That's why we've got a trigger above here, but also a trigger below here. But the trigger below here can get you into trouble um, because it may just um, move down into the 61.8% mark here as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave and then move up from there. So there, there is risk in that. Um, so in that in that instance, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, you'd need to sort of think about it a little bit further. Um, I suppose one thing that you could do is, is pretty much look for a better entry. So not taking this entry out here, um, but getting closer in up through here, like taking this entry in here the low of this day here and then putting the stop above that then bringing the stop down to to the next day high here so this is a bit of a switch set up to the short side um, so in that instance there we can go short on breaking that low here the stop would go here so I can just borrow this little guy the stop would go here <clears throat> and then um, at the end of the session we can bring it down to this high here so um, not to say that that trade is going to sort of pan out, but um, at least you'd have a better, um, uh, yeah, the, the risk reward would be better at that point. Okay, um, for the Nikkei. <clears throat> so the Nikkei is very much like the Australian market and some of the European markets as well in terms of its move to the upside here. So when we were at this point here, I drew out that we needed one and two here, which is this one and two in here, and then up for three and four and five. So I'll just go into the four hour chart. And um, this is sort of how I see this here. I'm looking for five waves up. These may, these should, oh no, that's right, yeah. So that's fine, so no. Um, this can also be in blue the next degree higher as well, but it doesn't stop us from counting. So in this instance here, from wave four here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Nice third wave up here with one and two and three and four and five here, and wave four here. Um, so I'm assuming that's five waves in here. We'll pull back, wave three normally sees the gaps in it. A bit short for a wave three compared to wave one here so if that is wave three here all of that well then we're just going to see a small move up here just um just a small just making a new high here basically the fifth wave has to be shorter than the third wave here so anyway the the other point here is that we are looking at um top of group one here um, so basically, even though it's in thousands, it's still one, two, and three here, and this is top of group one here. So we need to see if this finds support here. Um, so we still need our first high above the level for before we could go long here. The idea would be to trade to this number and get out, and then we just wait to see if we get a classic trading levels pattern, which is going to form across here, um, and then we can go long um, or even get a better position in in here once we got support or it fades away from that point so we you trade to here um, and then we can move in move in from that point this is a variation of the classic trading levels pattern here where it comes up through to here has its reaction moves up here has its little ABC pattern in here and then moves up from that point so sort of nice set of stairs walking up the stairs but always would take that position out here so the arrival the reaction the first high above the level an a and a b and a c um, and then moving back in here so um but yeah so but this one's more common than this one this is sort of a secondary pattern um right um one more the nifty so the Nifty, um, we're looking uh, at this the same thing again. We're looking at it as, as uh, <coughs> uh, wave B up here. Um, 
So, um, and the other thing too here is that we're coming into 10-8, um, so um, eight's a profit-taking number, it's the third strongest number, one, then five, then eight, and then three. So this number here, we expected it to be uh, hit here, so I don't know if I've got this. Okay, we have done work on it. So this is the um, this is more of an accurate count here. So if I count this up through here, then I can count this as one and two here, and then all the way up for three here on this one here with five blue waves, one and two, and then three and four and five here. And then that would bring us down to the 38.2% retracement level for wave four. We have moved through that uh, here somewhat, so that is a little bit of a concern. Um, we can look at this as uh, an A and a B, and then one and two and three and four and five here. So we can call it in a, a low here, but a bit of a problem with that because this little move here, I can see that it's in three waves here. Um, I need to investigate that further from here. Um, but uh, let me just have a little look. Well, I can count as five waves, just a bit dodgy in terms of one and two here. Mm, I'll still leave that mess here, which I don't understand three and four and five, it doesn't really, this is all corrective, this move is corrective, so this can actually push up from here, um, so it can move up from here, so I need to do more work on this, if you're trading this, then let, let me know, and, and I'll do some work on it, but taking the, taking that little high out here is your catalyst for, for moving higher at that, at that point, okay, so uh, 10553 here, I mean, the other interesting thing here, too, though, is that if we look at this as one, two, three, four, five here, then go off this one here. This can actually just move up to the 38.2% retracement here and then move to this point. If that's the case, then we will have five waves down. So at the moment, I can put that here. But if this moves to here, then I would need to look at, copy that, I would need to look at all that as the A wave to here. So just be mindful of the 10,000, if you're going to trade up, 10,600 is the target area. Okay, it's the closest, largest number at that point. Clean that up. All right, um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, so just a bit of a recap. We know that um, that iron ore is correcting, BHP is correcting, those sort of things are correcting. They're governing the the ASX 200 in, in its um, move to the uh, downside. So um, we need to just really allow this to uh, complete here um, and then we can look at um, buying um, BHP and so on again um, at, 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 these, at these sort of lows here once this touches in base uh, here. Um, yeah, all right.